Today we build an anvil launching system to hit people who think they're taking a psychology test. And here is the master plan. Ice tower, enchanting station, cannon, cannon. Bang! Simple, yes. However, before we think about putting a cannon on top of one of my ice towers, we gotta build an ice tower to put a cannon on the top. Do you remember how last episode I said, eh, it doesn't look the best, but it works? I'm pretty sure that goes for this tower too. It's not the best, but it will work. Wait, what are you doing, sir? You'd think that as I build more towers, I'd be getting better. Yeah, it needs a bit of tweaking. Pro skill time. Oh, oh I hate it when I fall. Pretty sure I used like an extra shulker box of ice there, but uh, I'm hoping it looks good. Is it an improvement? Uh, no. <laughs> Aha! Now all we gotta do is add some snow. And I really hope I'm not gonna run out of snow cause collecting, yeah, okay. <laughs> cause collecting snow is terrible. How did I get that? Time to go ham. Okay, question. If we put a snow golem on top of this tower, do you think he'll survive? Only one way to find out, I guess. Alrighty, Richie. <laughs> we'll see how long you survive. While we're at it, I guess we should probably put one on each island. Oh, we got Jimmy, we got Richie, and we got Bob. Who, who do you think is going to survive the longest? This isn't good, but I've already forgot what I call the snow golem. So to keep them straight, one of them is going to be iron, one of them is going to be gold, and one of them is going to be netherite. Richie. Oh, there goes the anvil. Bob. And I'm pretty sure I called this guy Jimmy, but I'm from the future here, and I started calling him Douglas. Is that how you spell Douglas? So that right there is Richie. Bob. I think Bob was the one on this tower. No, wait. No, no, no. That was Douglas. And then Bob is the one on the tower. <laughs> we're on here we're making an anvil launching system right and that means we need a lot of anvils <laughs> dude it's an entire stack now we just need some sort of storage placey thing nothing super spectacular but just a nice little quiet place to put hundreds of anvils something with iron bars iron and what else maybe some terracotta oh and some smooth stone Okay, so we're gonna take some of this, and I'm thinking iron stone, iron stone, and then in the middle, perfect. Wait, I have an idea. Ha <laughs> okay, that's better. And before I forget, this like sort of has to do with the flying anvils project. You know how we built that mob farm? It's been producing so much gunpowder. And what I want to do with that gunpowder is, uh, yeah. Okay, now I just gotta remember exactly where this sand portal is. I'm pretty sure I put some sand blocks down somewhere. Like to mark where I'm going. Yeah, okay, so we just follow the sand. This portal is so hidden. This is up here, this like little cranny. I'm pretty sure this isn't the mining desert, but I mean, we're getting pretty far on in the season. I don't think anybody will like notice. I've never actually mined sand with TNT before. Well, I mean, I guess unless you include my demos here. Okay, so that was four blocks of TNT and four and a bit stacks of sand. Dude, that is such a good return. So one of the primary reasons I built the mob farm was just so I could have a lot of TNT to get a lot of sand, to get a lot of glass, to build an ice tower. Definitely overkill to use this much sand. Like, look how much glass I already have. It was just an excuse to use a lot of TNT. Ice tower, done. Anvil storage, done. The floor is done. Now we just need to do the enchanting table, anvil launcher, and then... So for the enchanting table, we need paper and we need leather and to get paper, we need sugar cane. Look down in here. It's in one of these chests. There's just, yeah. <laughs> like I've just been storing all this up. This is all manually farmed sugarcane. Get a little bit of paper. I don't know how much we'll need, but I think the leather we should be able to get from the shopping district. Civs shop. No, it's all gone. Wasn't I looking for leather just the other day? Do you have leather? Kind of wish there was a control F button. Okay, floor four, nether weather. Two, three, four. Yes. Four stacks, one diamond. Jeez, everybody sells stuff for so cheap. Do I pay? Is there? Pay here. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, crap. Flying like a madman today. How did I mess that up? Leather plus paper plus wood equals books. 
I guess more specifically bookshelves. How many do we need? 16? No, I think it's 15, right? Because a bookshelf is two levels and you need to get to level 30. Yeah, yeah, it's 15. Obsidian, diamonds, and a book. Over to the tower. And then where do we put it? Probably like right here. Okay, I need to check to see if it's level 30. We're gonna use every last bit of piece of wood. Is it level 30? Yes. Oh, silk touch, not bad. So I'm pretty sure only two of them are around. We have this guy, I, I think he's Bob. And then over here, we got the OG, my man Richie, but I can't find the third guy. I've been circling around the tower, but I can't find him. And I can't remember what I named him either. We'll just call him Douglas, Douglas. The Lost Snow Golem. Oh, and a bit of a side note, when I was making the, the golem check sign, this thing has been here for so long. If you guys don't remember, we had somebody install a camera for us. It's an armor stand, right? But it's an invisible armor stand, so I can't get rid of it unless I, I find a book. Yeah, okay, here we go. So I've never done this. Check target. Stand visible. Yes. Yeah, okay, there we go. I really needed to do this for a while. So check target, visible stand, and then, okay, good. I'm such a pro, guys. Did you see how fast I did that? <laughs> I can't remember what that's from. Oh, no, 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 you know what it is. When these fake camera thingies got installed, we needed a way to prove that they were like legit cameras. <laughs> the stamp of approval. That is enough fooling around with the snow golems. So you know when you play Minecraft, you have like the WASD sort of thing, and then over here, you have your shift button, and so you have to stretch your pinky from all the way over here, to here. Well, basically, I've been doing so many speedruns lately that my left arm started to get sore because I was sprinting so much. Oh, and well, I don't, I don't know if this is that impressive, but I got like 52 minutes. Beat Minecraft in 52 minutes. I think I followed all the rules, so I might submit it because I've had this idea. I kind of want to be a rounded out person who plays Minecraft. You know how some people are like the redstoners, some people are the builders. I'd rather be a master of all trades than kind of just focused on one. And to be a master of speedrunning, well, I guess not a master, but I feel like having a sub hour time is pretty good. Another bit of news, guys, I've been doing YouTube an entire year. I was actually gonna make a video about it and I, I got like the intro done, but I, I just didn't know how to make it. There were so many things I could do. I could do like an overview, like the story of my YouTube experience. I could show all of like the failed clips that I have. And you know what? I'll do a poll because I think it'd be kind of fun to do a desk tour. This is the thing I see all the time, but you guys have never seen. Anyways, if you guys want to see like a one year video, let me know. Right now, we are currently building uh, the launcher thingy. Essentially, it's three parts. So we have this piston right here, and this one's powered. So we can put the anvils on top of here. This is like our storage thing. We're going to unpower it, then power it. Wait, why are you not? Can I not power this piston? Okay. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So I think the problem was that we were unpowering it and if the anvil is like sitting on the ground, then we can't push it. So as it's falling, we have to retract it and then extend it and push it out. And that is part one. So we're gonna push the anvils from the loader thing. There's gonna be a giant column here onto the slime block, launch it up and then launch it sideways down to our unsuspecting visitor. Yeah, that's the whole plan. <laughs> Thunder. Hold me to it, but I may have the first part figured out. So if we break this, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, timing's off. Stick number two, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah! So we got it to launch up. Now we just need to activate this guy. And, and, and. Now, just maybe this one. Please, 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 please. Oh, that's so close. Oh, and that's a problem. Take number, whatever number. Oh, shoot, I messed it up. Come on, launch, 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 launch. Where did the anvil go? Try again. Huh? I don't even know what happened. 83%. I'm 83% sure this will work. Oh! 10 to 15 minutes of testing. This is what we got. Boom! Yeah! Look at it go! Dude, I'm gonna load this thing up. Okay, okay, ready, 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 rapid fire. No, no, go and move. Dude, you're, you're gonna die. No! What? How did you survive? There's no way they don't take damage, right? <laughs> Is he gonna survive? No way he survives. He survived! How many of you knew that? Snow golems don't take fall damage? That should have been a question on the game show. It's going, it's going, it's going, and... Oh, it went right in between. So theoretically, if we beat it down there, right? Oh, no. And then, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> dude, <laughs> that fart. 
That's amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so surprised that didn't kill me. Next step of the plan, we need to make cannon number two, and then we need to get one of the echoes over here somehow. I'll find a way to convince them to come over here, but we'll have them come over here, press a button, run redstone all the way over there, all the way up that. Anvil comes over and crushes them. <laughs> Instantly though, we run into a problem. How do you run a redstone signal that vertical for that long? I know we could go with like the slab method. I've seen these things where you like have a whole bunch of slime blocks in a row, right? And then you have a redstone block at the top. This might not work, but I can't see how it wouldn't, right? We have a direction. So if I've done everything right, and I probably haven't, we should get something to launch. I'm not sure if that updated it. Maybe we gotta like, no? Hmm, it's not changing. And now if I tune this, we should see an anvil fly. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> this is gonna be glorious. I'm gonna lure one of the echoes over here and I'm gonna be like, tune this note block. Which note is your favorite note? Ooh, okay, I'm tuning, you know, this one is kind of cool. Little do they know, <laughs> they'll get to. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be so great. Before I go ahead and kill them, I should probably get like a shulker box system ready so I can pick up all their stuff. And I guess I should probably put away all of my stuff. The never ending project of putting stuff away. Just uh, loading up the anvil launcher. Got some extra anvils. I can't think of anything that would go wrong. You don't like think it's, it, it's like rude to just like have people come over to your base and then kill them. <laughs> Well, no turning back now. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Is everything ready? <sighs> this is the point in the episode where I question myself. Why did I do this? Like, is this, a good, is this gonna ruin friendship? I don't know how good of a liar I am. I literally just have to say, come over to my base so I can test something and I'm just gonna kill you. <sighs> I guess I'm just getting nervous. After much deliberation, I'm pretty sure I figured out a way to fool these guys. First, you gotta make them complacent. This page should take them about 30 seconds to solve and nothing will happen, so hopefully they won't be on their guard. But as soon as they turn the page, this is when we hit them with the anvil. Hello? Oh, Siv, dude, what's up? Have you ever taken a psychology class? Uh, yeah. So it, it's just think. like a couple of psychology tests of sorts. The instructions are basically in the book. I'm just gonna oh, get okay. in my cinematic mode from here. Just like read it out loud. Is anything wrong with this? I love Paris in the the springtime. There's there's two wow, those. You got that really quick. I'm surprised. <laughs> I Dude. think I've seen this kind of thing before. I'm uh, not okay. Sure. That might make sense. That might make sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just uh, continue. Lesson one. The brain is a tricky thing. Only illusions seem to be everywhere. <laughs> yeah. What on earth? What was that? <laughs> I was just kidding about the whole psychology thing. Keep going, yeah. So it's huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it worked. Oh yeah, Siv, sorry about the helmet, the anvil kind of like broke instantly, sorry. <laughs>